What's going on, David Dreamers? Got Mathras here. Uh, today we're going to be going over some cool uh, Pokemon Sun, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. My bad. Uh, move Tutor stuff. So uh, me and my buddy Quinlan Ding, we've been pretty excited about some of the new Move Tutor moves that are coming out pretty soon. Uh, and uh, I know they're coming out like this weekend, but uh, and Showdown might even have them like as we speak. But uh, we were a little too impatient, so we decided to play a little couple of custom games with some t teams that we created uh, based around the uh, the, uh, the move tutor moves that are coming out. Uh, so I just want to highlight a few cool things that we we played around with. Uh, one of my favorite things that I'm looking really looking forward to is Lorantis uh, gets superpower now. Um, Kingler also gets crab hammer, not crab hammer. Uh, it gets better than crab hammer. It gets liquidation, which is accurate, and gets sheer force, sheer force boosted. Uh, some things on his team um, was Confe gets defog, Slurpuff gets sticky web, uh, Ember gets burn up, and uh, a few other things like strength, sap, victory bell. But let's just jump right into it. Uh, so my, I decided to go with a Trick Room team just to try to take advantage of Lorantis' low speed. Uh, but of course, Behem is just a beast. So, uh, but unfortunately, his Calm Mind Slurpuff is going to get a huge hit off on my Lorantis. But my Power Herb Solar Blade is going to come through and finish him off. Uh, but Incineroar, I know he's going to try to set up or something. So I just went for the superpower just to get my boosts, and then of course do some huge damage to this thing. Uh, but now I definitely can't stay in, uh, so I just go in my car bank, I know I can take a hit and uh, probably get my trick room up, so I do exactly that. Uh, and the confusion about the fire punch doing uh, a bit more than Darkest Lariat, even though they're, I think they're the same power, I'm not sure. Both resisted, I don't know. Lorantis gets to come in now and go for the, f the faster superpower, so get my boosts. Uh, really wish I hadn't had power, or wish I had some kind of leftover or something. Uh, but Leech Life's gonna give me some recovery. Not enough though, because Victor Bell will blow me away with the Sludge Bomb. But now Behem gets to come back out. I know Behem doesn't really get anything cool with the move tutors, but look at that. Just blew away a Comfy with one hit. Uh, Ambor gets to come out now, and look at this thing. Watch it just blow away my Palace Hand with this burn up and get rid of its fire type. Crazy. This thing needs to leave RU for this. Like, please. Alright, now Kingler's in. Liquidation. Do want to clean 50 to the victory bill. But don't want to take a hit from that thing. So I'm going to go Ursaring. And he gets the strength sap all the way back up to full. So it actually becomes a problem because my Ursaring's at minus one and victory bill's at full health again. Uh, so a frustration, not going to be able to KO. And he's actually going to be able to two hit KO me with the sludge bomb. So down goes my Ursaring. Uh, but basically that's it, because Behem can take any one hit, so that's basically it. He doesn't have any switches to this. Ember will die, Dodrio goes down, and Victory Bell goes down, so... Kind of good to show off Behem a little bit, even though it didn't get anything new in the, ultra, in the move tutors. But anyway, moving on to the next one. Uh, so cool things here. Uh, Vileplume gets Strength Sap, which is really cool, because Vileplume is a pretty... Oof, Vileplume is a pretty cool defensive Pokemon. Uh, Dojo gets Stomping Tantrum, that's the reason I put it on this team. Don't really get to use it though. Uh, and also, what's his name? Ambipom gets uh, Tail Slap now, so Skill Link Ambipom is actually a thing. Uh, and on Quinlan Ding's side, he's got Lorantis, of course. He gets Toxic Spikes on Excelgore now. Uh, Hitmonchan gets Throat Chop, which is dark coverage now. Of course, he's got a Kingler and Defog Sigilyph, which is cool because it's Magic Guard, so it doesn't take Stealth Rock. And now Basculin's got Rockhead, which is also really cool because Basculin uh, gets access to um, Reckless and uh, Rockhead, depending on what color stripe you have, so it's pretty cool. I also had no idea that Basculin's stripe color actually was a difference. Like, I thought it was just the same Pokemon, just different color, but it actually has different abilities. Uh, but anyway, Tail Slap doing nice damage to that Sigilyph, and now Vicavolt comes in and clicks Thunderbolt and something goes down. But not really, because him on chain only takes half, and I don't want to take like a fire punch or something. So going to slow bro and able to take the hit, and now him on chain goes for the throat chop. There it is. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> my throat is chopped. It does nothing though, because it is a slow bro, but unfortunately for him. Uh, but Excelgore comes out, takes a psychic. I don't want to take a bug buzz, so I decided to switch. Uh, into my Dodrio, I got a scarf on this thing, so it's pretty nice. <laughs> able to finish that Excelgore. Uh, I do feel kind of bad in that I actually kind of made like teams that I would use on the ladder versus Quinlan Ding, who just kind of put a bunch of Pokemon that he wanted to test out the move tutor moves with. 
Uh, Slowbro able to take on the Bash Gun pretty well, but not the Slorantis. Slorantis is scary. Uh, I do have my one check to this thing, which is Vile Plume. Able to take a superpower, but less and less so as he does get the boosts. Uh, and he does reveal um, uh, Sludge Bomb not doing enough. But I do get the poison, which is nice. And the superpower here. And then I decide to go for the cool move, the Strength Snap. But I unfortunately forget that because of Contra, he actually boosts his attack. And Leech Life is going to do a lot of damage. And he's going to recover a lot too as well. Uh, and then the Sludge Bomb not going to be able to pick him off. As he is going to be able to recover enough with Leech Life to live the poison too. So just unfortunately, Vile Plume did not get to shine. Uh, but I do have Dodrio, which basically just gets a kill now. Uh, Lorraine just goes down. Uh, and Kingler is here. And Kingler is a threat. Kingler has such a strong attack stat and agility Kingler is something I'm very very excited about knockoff not really going to be doing enough uh, and psychic going to do a heck of a lot uh, but I don't want to take another knockoff so I decided to just sack my incineroar here as he actually goes for the rock slide kind of predicting that I guess uh, but rock slide gets a sheer force boost liquidation gets a sheer force boost really really cool uh, I know I can take a knockoff though after that regenerator so down it goes don't want to take a big hit from this thing so i decided to just sack my vicavolt uh, but after this i do get to bring in dodrio once again and just kind of click a move uh and sigla actually takes this hit really well i go for the frustration and that's not even to a ko so i gotta switch out and decide to go amber palm kind of just to sack it but also just to see what he wanted to do uh able to fake out the masculine as he doubles uh and of course I fear the scarf here so I decide to go slow bro knowing I can take the hit and uh, not too much more exciting stuff's gonna happen here liquidation does get the defense drop but I'm a slow bro so like, basically why is slow bro this low in the tiers sack the amber palm here to get my uh, dojo in but turns out dojo can't even KO but also turns out all I really needed was slow bro so I just get a couple calm mind I get a calm mind up and that's basically it Slurp Chop is not going to do enough. He will chop my throat, but he can't take my soul. So, on to the next one. <laughs> this one I'm particularly excited about because it does have Go-Go on here. And uh, Go-Go finally gets access to Grassy Terrain, which lets it use its ability Grass Pelt, which uh, leaves it plus 1.5 defense uh, in Grassy Terrain. So it's really cool. Able to, and of course, that double recovery is nice. Let's actually get the Superpower KO on the Cacturn. I mean, he was normal type, so I mean, there's no reason not to go for Superpower. So, able to get that kill. Um, Horn Leech doing a nice amount to the Armaldo, and he does miss the Stone Edge, which is unfortunate for him, but I decided to go for a bulk up here just to eliminate that superpower drops, uh, and a good thing I did because Stone Edge did a lot, uh, and that's even with plus one defense in the grassy terrain. Um, but Lumise comes in as I just go for another Horn Leech. My plan was to kind of take a recovery enough to live another Horn Leech, but you just had to switch out anyway. And uh, so now I decided to go Gudra. Uh, not really, uh, Illumisa gets Defog and Wish, which are both Prankster now, cool, which is pretty cool. And I know he's going into the Aromatisse, so I Sludge Wave, get the Poison, but the Wish heals him back to full. And the uh, coolest thing about Aromatisse now is it does get access to Nasty Plot, which is so cool. I'm so excited to try running like a Trick Room Nasty Plot Aromatisse. I think it could be really cool, because it's really bulky and like, Moonblast is not a not a weak move, and it does get some nice coverage too, so you definitely want to play around with that set, but um, Snorlax is able to finish him off, and then um, Floor just able to come in on the Beware pretty well. Beware does get access to Drain Punch now, which is really cool, a pretty good fighting stab move for it. Uh, not going to be taking the Moonblast too well though, and Facade without the status is not going to be able to KO Floor, just, uh, so he does decide to go in with Mize, as I just get another Moonblast off. And, uh, and Lumise is going to be able to wish up again. So I decided to just synthesis up. Just weird for me. I, I like synthesis better than wish on floor. Just I don't know about other people. You turn on the go go and I take a nice chunk of damage. But my plan here is just to get the grassy terrain up. I don't really need. I don't. I do like go go. Go go is one of my favorites. But I uh, don't really need it to stick around. I want to get the Serena in and go for the power whip, which it does get access to now. Look at that damage, but it's not enough as Armaldo is putting in a lot of work versus my team. Uh, but now I get to go Komo'o, I can get up a Swords Dance because I know I can take Exeter and a Stone Edge or any hit from this thing. No problem, because Komo'o pretty, has pretty good defense and it gets access to close combat now, which is so much better than Sky Uppercut. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that uh, physical Komo'o is going to come back now. 
Uh, it's not just going to be specs every time. Uh, and I did fear the scarf play rough there, so I decided to switch into Gudra, as he just reveals that he's actually no item acrobatics, which I should have known because it is Quinn Landing. Uh, and then there's the play rough, actually, he lives the fire blast. Uh, and now I basically just finish up the game with Forges, so not super exciting if ending to the game, but really cool, a lot of cool Pokemon ones to highlight there. Really excited about Agility, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Kingler, Grassy Terrain, Bulk Up, Go Go, um, and uh, Superpower, uh, Lorantis, uh, what are the other things I'm really excited about? Uh, those are the, the main things, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Kamoa, physical Kamoa, I think is gonna be really cool. Oh, and nasty plot aromatis. I'm really, really excited to use that. Uh, what other things? What other things? Uh, I guess those are the main things, but there's definitely a lot of cool things around. So, uh, looking forward to playing some more Ultra Sun and Moon, and uh, hopefully get Quinn ending on a, on some some recording at some point. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Look for more uh, Ultra Sun and Moon content as it comes out, and uh, keep dreaming. Peace out. Oh.